There are no limits when it comes to need for speed. Or what I'm basically trying to make it sound cooler. It's, it's need for speed, no limits. There's no limits when it comes to need for speed. That's right, when you got the need for speed, there ain't no limits. Damn, son. Where did you rise to this? Anyway, <laughs> it's a joke, okay? Welcome to another video on Need for Speed. It's been quite a while since I spoke about Need for Speed news or anything because really there hasn't been a lot to go on. Whereas before, any bit of news comes out, I would drop straight on that and tell you guys my thoughts because I'm pretty sure you guys would want to know and that sort of thing. So here we go with Need for Speed No Limits. What is it for the people that don't know? It's a mobile game. It's a mobile game that is designed to rack in EA as much money as possible. It's going to be free to play. It's going to have lots of cars that you can buy with real money or some kind of energy system that you have to use real money for. You know, it's going to be something like that. But that's not the reason we're here to talk about this today. You know, that in itself would not be video worthy for me. I have to have another reason. And, and, that's, and that's why you're sticking around, because you know I've got another reason to talk about. And you can probably tell from the title as well. Uh, anyway, so just to get into it, Need for Speed No Limits, as I said, is a mobile game very similar to Asphalt 8. It's probably the closest resemblance to this game, but in the fact it has a Need for Speed old feeling to it. As you can tell from the screenshots and stuff, it really does look like, I would say, one of the underground era games, so carbon or something. You can just, you can tell it's got the, it's got the hint of that. And it's supposed to be because of the fact these cars are bloody customised. Yes, they are. So in the actual article, this is by Fire Monkeys themselves, the developer, they also made Most Wanted on Mobile, which, to be honest, had a much better progression system than the console version, may I add. You actually had to buy cars. I know, it's crazy. You had to on the mobile, but you didn't on the console. Didn't make any sense to me, because I really much prefer that feature. Anyway, moving on with it. They said in this article that, basically... We'll be back in a few weeks and months ahead with more details about the cars, the characters, and are you ready? The customization. Now, since when the bloody hell have any Need for Speed studio mentioned customization? They never mentioned it. People go, oh, you got customization in Need for Speed. No, 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 we got personalization. That was like the weirdest Eastern European or European voice I have ever attempted to do. It ended up sounding like some African mixed with. I, I don't know, it's just a very weird voice, but you understand my intention. Need for Speed No Limits is going to be a game that is heavily focused on cars, characters, customization, which is some things that have never really been in the game, except cars, obviously. <laughs> obviously, there have been cars in the game, but I mean, characters and customization is something that Need for Speed hasn't really gone into. So the characters, it might have some kind of characters... You know, the, to do with this, maybe like a storyline or you just race against certain people. So, characters. The only other game that I can really think of has had characters is Most Wanted Slightly. Uh, sorry, Most Wanted Slightly. Most Wanted Definitely. Underground Slightly. Uh, sorry, meaning Underground 2. And Carbon, which, you know, those ones. And only after that point, I'd say The Run was probably one with a lot of character stuff. But, yeah, from those games, I'm guessing it's going to go for a most wanted kind of route. You know, you, you've got races to go against. It's kind of a most... You know, that, that's just the most obvious thing to go with. And then you've got customization. So, I'm pretty sure you guys want to hear about this, because I know I bloody do. So, customization, they've never really detailed anything. But as you can tell by the actual car design here, on the pictures and stuff, you can see that these things are... Customized. You can see they've got the rims changed, they've got body kits on them, they've got spoilers as we wanted in Need for Speed for such a damn bloody long time. It looks like they've listened in form of a mobile game, so I'm not just gonna stop here. You know, I, I didn't I didn't want it to just be like, oh yeah, it's a mobile game customization. Yeah, because we're gonna have to pay ten pounds for a body kit on my R34. I don't bloody know. That's, that's, that's mobile games, right? Well, what does this mean for Need for Speed in general? Because if they're developing this game, they must have been developing it for a year or so, you know. It doesn't take too long to develop a mobile game that's oriented like this. Uh, at least from knowledge, you know. It doesn't take them very long to release another bloody Asphalt game. I've had my phone for what, and I swear they've released eight in the past bloody month or two. Um, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, it kind of raises the question, are they going to follow this route when it comes with the console and PC releases of the next Need for Speed? Are we getting hinted at what the next Need for Speed is going to be. Say, for example, are we going to see an underground-style flavor of, uh, you know, Need for Speed coming soon, or at least a customization-oriented version? 
maybe Need for Speed No Limits will be a console game as well, and we're just getting teased with it's a mobile game now, that we probably won't do that. But hey, it has customization, it has uh, characters, it has cars, what else do you want, right? No, but they're... So, I mean, it, it's going to be interesting. I'm probably going to play the ga mobile game myself just to kind of get the idea of it once it releases, because it's not released yet. But I'm hoping that it's hinting towards bigger things, such as a customization-oriented game next, you know, for the next game coming out. Um, but to wrap up on this video, the mobile game is probably going to be a cash cow. Uh, it's going to be... You can buy this car with real money or in-game money that takes you about a year to grind and then the customization parts. You want that bumper? You're gonna have to pay a tenner, mate. Pay a tenner. Wanna progress? Your energy's run out, mate. Pay another tenner. But, console version wouldn't be like that. I should bloody hope not anyway. Because otherwise, yeah. No, but no, seriously, I don't think it will be. But yeah, I, I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys think this is hinting towards the future of Need for Speed and the way it's going to be going in the sense that it may be going back to street racing, kind of underground style, or it may just be broadening in the sense that we have rivals style games for one year and then next year we have something like Underground and then the next year we have Shift. And You know, I, I really, really enjoy that. Need for Speed changed it up each year. But that's my personal opinion. I'd like to know yours down in the comments, but... Uh, yeah, uh, oh, oh, one thing to touch on actually, before I leave. There's a bit, uh, people been sending me this article saying Need for Speed Underground has been leaked. Um, I've read through it, and the guy says something is going to be announced at VGX. VGX does not exist anymore, it's the Video Game Awards. And he doesn't really mention anything new, and he mentions a lot about the resolution stuff, like a whole paragraph, and it's like, yeah, we, we don't care about that. A developer wouldn't go on about that. They're aiming for 1080 60 and all this rubbish, so no, that's not gonna work, I'm sorry. But anyway, moving on, I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you did enjoy this video and you found out some information, give it a like if you did, and I will see you in the next one. Walks out of the room, peace.